what's going on guys and your good friend Fury Pixel Today bringing you a full review of Evermedia products again this time from the microphone Aegis So let's get started So Avermedia has been surprising us with their game capture cards and speakers and this time I'm gonna test another product in the audio field, the Aegis microphone. This microphone catch my attention after read the box about the DSP function which is a speaker sound suppression, a technology made by Avermedia, the one which will help you to kill any sound which is not your voice, letting you play without headset. This is a great function for those who like me don't like to use all the time headset and want to enjoy the gaming with a very loud surround sound. Going on with what is inside of the box, the first thing we are gonna get is a magnetic pin of the Aegis microphone. A very high quality micro USB 2.0, it's protected by fabric and shoveled in gold and as you can see it's a very good cable. The microphone Aegis, the one who keeps the branding style of all Evermedia products. I really like the form of this one, it's supposed a shield but to me looks more like a kind of dark millennium falcon. Good stuff in here. And of course, the quick guide and warranty. This microphone is made by hard plastic and is pretty lightweight and compact. All the base of the bottle have rubber feet which will help to have better stability and will help you a lot especially for this mic because it's really lightweight and you don't want to drop it or something like that. On the top we are going to find the volume control knob and a small logo of Avermedia. On the right side we are going to have a mute button, the one which is very useful in case you need to mute the mic. And on the back we are gonna find the micro USB 2.0 port and the DSP switch. You can download the software by going to the Avermedia website and searching for the product or by clicking to the link I will leave for you down below in the description. After you got the software it's time to connect your Aegis microphone to your PC or laptop. Your computer will detect automatically the hardware and the microphone will turn on an LED around the knob. After that you just need to install the software, follow the steps and your microphone will be ready to use. To test this microphone I'm gonna play the Division game like how can you see and I'm gonna place the microphone 60 cm far from me, following the instructions. And I can see the volume is hitting because it's in the max volume right now. But for that, I'm gonna test in the half of the volume. So I'm gonna move the knob to the 50%. And in that way, we are gonna test the microphone in flat sound. I'm gonna test first the gaming without the DPS sound. And after that, with the DPS sound. And I will record the song with the normal voice recorder. The basic program which comes with Windows. And I won't alter the sound, that way you can hear how this microphone really captures the audio and if the DPS function really works or not. I want to mention that the microphone is really close from one of my speakers, I'm using the Ballista Trinity speakers and I will put the volume like how I used to play when I'm not using headset. So let's test it. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to record Without the DSP, my air condition is on, my speaker is in the volume normally I used to play and I'm going to do an encounter playing the division and let's see first how is the audio without the DSP mode. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking and it's supposed to be a little loud. I'm checking right now the, the speakers and I, it's hitting the yellow color in the LEDs in, and I'm talking on the same time let's arrive to the encounter a lot of enemies here I restart the game and make this this new character just to get fun you know after you pass the the game it's always good to replay it again maybe play always in hard once you finish in normal or playing very hard Okay guys, so right now I changed to DSP mode, we are gonna find another uh, encounter and finish this mission. And let's see if the microphone function really 
make for what it is and shooting a lot is supposed to suppress the sound of the shoots and it's supposed to just listen my voice right now and probably a little bit the shoots and the music but not that much it's supposed this microphone is made for that uh, live streamers which uh, want to do their gaming without using their headset but don't want the the audio of the gaming speakers come inside of their microphone so after listening the audio of the test, the first thing I noticed is that the volume without the DPS mode and with the DPS mode is really different. Uh, without the DPS mode is really loud, the speakers can be a little bit noisy. Remember I use the microphone in 50% of the volume and it's really close to my speakers. So I saw a lot is hit the yellow color and the red color of the LEDs around the knob. But after you use the DSP, the volume down a lot and kill completely the sound of my air condition and my fan and the music of my speakers. But I still can listen a bit the shots of the guns, I suppose because the speakers is too close of that. Another thing I noticed is that when you are using the DSP mode, you should be exactly in front of the microphone. In other way, uh, the microphone will down the volume and up the volume. But I suppose this is about the function because it should capture your voice. I don't know how they do it. I actually, I'm really impressed about this mod. We already see how the technology is advancing a lot. We already saw that kind of cameras which can kill the background without use a, a green background. And now Avery Media bring this new technology to which is the microphone and now we kill any song which is not your voice. I believe that this technology can be improved. Uh, the quality of the microphone, maybe it's not the best if you want to use it for studio purposes or if you want to use it for something more professional or to do the voiceover for your YouTube videos. But for those who like to do live stream outside of their bar station or just want to have a gaming resting from the headset and listening to the gaming in their run zone without have problem during the live stream this is a very good solution which is very lightweight is really compact and for 80 to 90 us dollars depending on the area you are i think the quality should be fair enough maybe not the best one but it's not the worst one but yes uh let's see what Aver media bring for future and i believe that this microphone can improve more like i said it's not like the best microphone, but also it's not the worst one. And that was my full review of the microphone Egos from Aver Media. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think about this microphone down below in the comments. And if you like the video, don't forget to support the channel, giving that thumbs up and subscribing. In that way, you won't miss any of my future content. Philippixel. See you next time.